Hi, welcome to another edition of the Dixon on Disney Archives, where we kind of walk through my office and look at the stuff uh, that's here. Uh, I tell you a bit of a story or two behind it, where it came from, maybe what it's worth if I know, or what it's worth to me, which is why it makes the Dixon on Disney Archives, and to me, what makes it special. Because this is my office. This is the stuff that I look at that inspires me, uh, makes me smile, gives me a break in the middle of a work day, distracts me as often as possible, and I need to be distracted, uh, and that never hurts. And so I'm going to go to this shelf today. A lot of stuff, a lot of goodies on this shelf, but I'm going to pull out of here this Mickey Mouse. This is um, a bank. Uh, it is um, a plastic Mickey. Uh, it is the Mickey Mouse version that we would have seen uh, in the 60s, early 70s. So it's got that vintage look, Mickey Mouse. You know, Mickey through the years has certainly evolved. The look has changed. The way that he dresses changed. The style of animation changes. So this is that Mickey that emerges from that era. Um, Apparently, there was a series of plastic banks this size that were produced for a while um, that was sold as merchandise primarily at Disneyland, um, but then also you know, in, in retail stores. Now, again, you, know, you couldn't go into Amazon in those days. There was no such thing as eBay in those days, so you'd actually find these things in the stores. Um, Sears, historically, one of those places you could have picked this up. Um, Penny's, J.C. Penny's, back in the day, those department stores were ones you could walk in and find this. Um, I didn't realize it uh, when I picked it up uh, because for me, the value wasn't that great. It was more of just one of those, yeah, yeah, this looks pretty cool. It looked good sitting on my shelf. Had no idea what they were worth. And when you go out there and you look for these things out there on eBay, on the Disney and the collector market, you find out hey, this is a pretty valuable little piece because they're hard to come by. And that's the thing, right? When you pick up something that is hard to come by, it becomes that precious find, and that's where the value of it comes. Uh, one of the things that I'm always struck by when you find things like this is because it's pretty simple. I mean, it is just a bank. So obviously, the fact that it's a good-looking Mickey Mouse, uh, it makes people smile, it kind of takes you back to that original creation of Walt Disney, you know, the whole thing started with a mouse, you know, all those kind of things come rolling back into it. Uh, but what happens is that sometimes I'm always amazed by the fact that what might have been just something that you would have taken and put in a kid's room, if you had kept it, it had been worth so much today. I'm sure you've done that before. You've thought about a toy that you had as a child and see it somewhere or see it on some TV show for sale and you go, man, I had that as a kid. Yeah, well, the difference is it's worth something now and you don't have yours anymore because you threw it out or you trashed it when you were a kid. How many kids had a bank like this that they never really filled with money, they would play with a little bit, and got sold at a garage sale for a nickel, or um, even worse, just thrown in the garbage can. And now it's been melted down, recycled somewhere else, and it now is something else in the world uh, because uh, there was no value to it at the time. Uh, one of the things that is important in life is make sure that when you see things, and I'm not talking about a Mickey Mouse bank now, I'm talking about real life, that you really do embrace each moment and see the value in that moment, um, that you really do take the time to slow down and don't be so quick to pass something off or blow something off and think that it's not worth anything because of whatever reason. There are moments that are waiting for you to experience that are filled with magic, filled with mystery, and even miracles wrapped in those moments. When you take the time to really look and look closely, you might be surprised at what you find. And so, I'm reminded of that when I look at Mickey here. My friend Mickey sits on the shelf. Um, and he was just a pickup that was, for me, uh, something pretty simple, uh, but at the end of the day, ended up being a little bit more valuable than I thought it was going to be um, for a lot of reasons. That's it for this edition. I look forward to wandering through my office with you next time on Dixon on Disney Archives.